Today on the Road Hard Roadhouse, we are doing a transmission filter and a gasket in a 1979 International Scout Traveler with a 345 engine in it. That's four wheel drive, all that sort of stuff. Why are we doing it? This thing had a little bit of milky fluid in it in North Dakota, and the dipstick was reading wrong, and we filled it up with regular fluid just to try to get it on the trailer. Well, we ended up having too much fluid. It's barfing fluid up and causing a big smoke scene and everything. So we want to try to get everything taken care of so we can drive this thing without it burning up. Where you're gonna to wanna to look is, here's the door. It's in the middle of the truck, right in the middle. We are changing the transmission filter and the gasket. Now, there is too much fluid in it, and it's, as you can see, it's running out and causing a mess on the exhaust, just causing a lot of smoke, a lot of fumes, can uh, cause you to burn your truck down. So, we're going to get this thing taken care of. Let's get it started. Here's some of the watery transmission fluid leaking out already as I've taken some of the pan bolts out. Transmission filter does not look too good. Got a Wix to replace it. It's been a very messy process so far. Wix part number is 58707. Filter. It came with two gaskets. I'm guessing that there might have been two different transmission pans. So uh, they gave you both of them. I'm going to clean up that transmission pan. I probably won't even do the rest of it tonight. I might put the filter in. But uh, I want to make sure that this thing's all cleaned up. You see a little bit of debris there that was underneath the filter. I'm going to let this thing drain probably the rest of the night. And I'll put it all back together in the morning. I want to get all this fluid out of here. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to use a little bit of the red RTV gasket maker to put down the sides so where it'll be a lot easier to put it back in so that's the next step oh for two it's non-conventional but it's solid all the way down to here so I poked a hole in the bottom of it because I need to get this done now we're not going to need a ton All I want to do is have it hold itself. I'm not making a gasket out of this.
Now I held the top end with my teeth as I was putting the lower end on and it worked really well. I was on the fly thinking there. So There we go. It's all ready. I'm just going to let it sit. It's exactly how I wanted this to happen. I wanted to show you this mess. Looks like it's all drained out. I'll clean it up, make sure it's still not draining watery transmission fluid. Clean up the edges, and I'll be ready to put the, uh, the pan bottom back on. I let it drain all night. I didn't want any of that fluid in the new fluid. I'll take an air pressure. I'll take an air hose to it just slightly on the outside don't want to jack up anything make sure you clean up the sides with the rag and degreaser if you have to over here I'm gonna to need to use a uh, putty knife or a paint scraper or something to get the rest of this grease off and then degrease it using air I knocked out some more watery terrible transmission fluid let's see if I can show you see? be patient with this procedure you want all that crap out of there Whether you're flushing your system or whether you're getting watery transmission fluid out like I am, you want to get all of it out. Now, if you've ever watched any of my other videos where I am restoring a car or any of that type of stuff and you see bolts like this, get yourself one of these. This wire wheel will make it look brand new and that's what I do on almost everything hang on to it though because if it takes off it'll shoot out of the back end of this thing I recommend using a wire wheel on almost everything. Now, granted, these didn't have rust on them, but a lot of bolts that you're going to deal with with plastic cars have rust all over it. It'll make a, a rusted out bolt look brand. It'll make a rusted bolt look brand new again. And you can make a 50 year old bolt look brand new again. That's pretty cool. I granted this International Scouts, now 50 years old. There you go, brand new bolt. There you go, brand new 1979 bolt. From here, I'll take all these outside, put them in a cardboard box, or poke them through a cardboard box, and then I'll paint them.
And then what I'm going to use is this Krylon Fusion all in one. It's a primer and a paint. I love this stuff. It makes me non crappy painter look pretty dang professional. Now this fusion, I've done a video on it. It really makes it look like it's uh, not powder coated, but pretty dang well. Um, makes it almost look powder coated. But this, this hole right here, first one to the left goes right here. Alright, now that you got that down, the pan's ready to go in. Everything's been cleaned up along the edges. I'll go over it one more time. And once the bolts are dry, we're ready to put this thing together. There she is. Let's fill this sucker. Drive it, see what's going on. Well, this is not a puddle of blood, guaranteed. This is brand new transmission fluid that sure beats the tar out of the watered down pink transmission fluid. We have to replace the gaskets that are on the shift lever side of the transmission. Next step, and there's always something. Now granted there's one more thing to do before we finish up this transmission as far as leaking goes, but there's only one more thing to do. And I thank the guys from the uh, forums on Facebook as far as letting me know as far as what to buy and all that type of stuff. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, liking and subscribing. We're going to be doing a lot more videos on this Scout. And in fact, my father-in-law just let me know that I have a Scout 2 that's coming to me next. I appreciate everybody, and once again, as always, if you ride her hard, don't throw her away wet. You have all this work to do if it's been put away wet. Well, it looks like there's one more step to get this uh, transmission from stop leaking. But man, I'm excited to get us done. Appreciate everybody for watching, liking, and subscribing. And as always, if you're right or hard, don't put her away wet. Just got news that there's another scout heading to the Road Hard Roadhouse. Stay tuned.